today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely table and chair set. And I finished mine in sort of two-tone, a cream and a walnut varnish. But you could do um, all varnish to make it a more sort of traditional dining room table and chairs. This, in this sort of design it maybe suits a, a kitchen better. Or you could do it in all one colour. And I've done it as two separate videos, so I've done the table as one video and then the chairs separately. And I've done four chairs here, but you can fit six chairs around the table if you wanted to do extra place settings. So you can fit three on either side there. And again, for this project I've used a wood called a beche. That's spelt O-B-E-C-H-E. But do have a look at my video working with wood for other types of wood that you can use and that would be suitable for this project. And you'll need a couple of thicknesses, a 1.5 and a 2.5 millimeter. That's 1 16th of an inch and 3 30 seconds of an inch. And the strip wood as well. And then a nice sharp uh, craft knife for cutting your wood. Always put a new blade in at the start of a project. When it begins to catch or drag along the wood, it means it's becoming blunt. A pencil, keep it nice and sharp for more accurate marking. Steel rule, obviously for measuring and for using with your craft knife to cut the wood. A flathead screwdriver, which I've used to create the grooves in the tabletop and in the back of the chairs, along with the steel rule. My favourite glue, Gorilla Wood Glue, or you could use any sort of um, PVA glue. I've just used a normal household varnish to stain the tops and the seats. That's a walnut shade. And these little sample pots as well of household emulsion, I find are really handy for painting the furniture. A couple of grades of sandpaper, something harsher for actually shaping the wood and then a finer piece for finishing and I like just to cut them into these smaller pieces which make them more easy to handle okay so let's get started so we're going to begin by making a pencil mark 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom of each leg piece so turn the legs onto the side and then you just want to make a faint pencil mark on the bottom of each one like so and then divide them into two pairs and take the upper and lower leg supports and just lay them in between each pair like that so the upper support is the 6x3 um, strip and the lower one is the 5x5 five five. and then I've just dispensed some glue here onto a piece of card and I'm using this cocktail stick to apply it and you just want to put a small amount of glue on each end of each support and then just pop that there and the same with the lower support and then the top support you want to attach so that it's flush or level with the top of the leg so just press that into place and then the lower support you want so it sits just above that pencil line that we just made at the bottom of the leg there. So glue them to the left hand leg first and then glue the remaining leg into place again so that the top support is flush and the bottom support is just above that pencil line. Just very gently press those together as the glue begins to take 
and then just gently slide that along your work surface and leave the glue to dry and then we're going to make a second leg set exactly the same way support into place first so it's flush with the top of the leg and the bottom support again just below just above sorry that pencil line and then attach the remaining leg press everything together Just remove that excess glue. Again, I'm just going to slide that one over whilst the glue dries. And then take the tabletop and the supports. And we're just going to attach one to each side. So apply glue to each long edge. surface and just want to press a support against each edge. And then just press those into place while the glue begins to take. just slide that piece along your worktop and that can be left to dry. So once the glue is completely dried erase the pencil marks from the front of the legs and then you want to make a pencil mark in the centre of this lower leg support. So just lay the piece down on your work surface like that and place your ruler on top and then just make a pencil mark underneath like so in the centre and do the same on the opposite leg and that will just help when we're placing the central support so take your supported tabletop and apply glue to one end and then lay it on your work surface and we want to attach the flat side so at the top there you've got a bit of a, a dip and we want to attach the flat um, side of the leg to the tabletop so press it against the end and so that this support here is level with the actual tabletop and then each of these side supports will sit at the edge of the legs And just press it into place just remove any excess glue and then turn the piece onto the leg and take the central support and again just apply a small amount of glue to one end and then this needs to be placed so it sits centrally over that pencil line so you can just judge that by eye and there just press it into place so that that pencil line is in the centre of the support 
and just use your finger to make sure that that's flush um, with the lower support. I'm just holding that into place while the glue begins to take. And then that piece can be left to dry and then we'll attach the remaining set of legs. So once you've allowed time for the glue to dry, you can then apply glue to the ends of the table. And to the support there. And then attach the remaining side. And again, so this support is level with the, the table top. And the tabletop supports will sit just inside the legs. And I'm just using my finger there to make sure that that's flush. And then just before the glue dries, turn it round and just manoeuvre the central support into place. So again, it's just sitting centrally below that pencil line. And that's why it's important to let the glue dry on the other end of the table because it's quite fragile. And if the glue hasn't taken, it will just fall apart when you're trying to do this bit. And then just carefully press all of that into place. And that's the base of the table complete. So allow that to dry and then you can just erase the pencil marks or sand them away if the glue has gone over the top of them. And then that piece is ready to paint. And we're making a separate top, so you don't have to paint this top part of the table, but do paint everywhere else, including underneath. I'm just going to remove that excess glue from along there as well. OK, we're now going to prepare the table top. So take one of the table top panels. I'm going to score two grooves into the panel. So begin by making a pencil mark at the top and bottom of each piece, so that's the shortest edges of the piece. 15 and a half millimeter from each side, or if you're working in inches, that's 5 eighths of an inch. So 15.5 there, and 15.5 from the other edge, and then do that at the bottom as well. And then to do this you'll need a flathead screwdriver, and this is the smallest one in my set, and we're just going to use that very corner to score the grooves into the wood. So turn the piece onto its side, and then place the steel rule so it sits just below the pencil lines, and that will just allow for the thickness of the screwdriver. And then begin just by gently scoring into the wood. And then just go along a couple of more times to make the groove a little bit deeper. Like that. And then turn the piece around and make the second groove. Again, just below the pencil lines. And just lightly across at first and then do a couple of more scores like so. And then take a piece of sandpaper and just make a fold in it, crease that in, and then you can just work that along each of those grooves and that will just smooth the edges. Like that. And the other one. Okay, so do that with both of the tabletop panels and then apply glue to both long edges of the central um, tabletop piece. So you've got three pieces of this size, so just take one of those pieces. and then place that between the panels 
And I can see a bit of a, a knot in the wood there, so I'm going to turn it over so I'm using the nicest side. And then glue those panels along each edge. And you want the sides to be nice and flush. Press those together. And remove that excess glue. And then apply glue to the long edge of each of the remaining tabletop pieces. And then glue one to each end. And it's easier to apply the glue to this piece rather than the, the panel that you've already constructed. And again, make sure it's flush at either side. And as you're pressing all that in, hold all this together. Otherwise it might just sort of ping off. And then the final piece. And glue that into place at the bottom. Support it with your hand while you're attaching it. Alternatively, you can sort of leave it to dry in between each each section that you construct. And then again, apply the glue to the long edge of these remaining pieces, these side pieces. the side and the top and bottom should be flush but if you find that you have cut it a little bit too long or a bit too short we can always sand that off afterwards this should make a complete um, rectangle Don't lift that, just sort of gently push it along the work surface to make sure it's not sticking to the surface. And then apply glue to the final side piece. it all together make sure it's all flat and again just push that along rather than trying to lift it and then leave that to dry now and then we can sand it completely flush before we varnish it so once the glue has completely dried, I've just used a fine grade sandpaper and I've gone over the entire surface just in small circular motions. And that will just flatten um, any sort of raised edges on here. And then finally I've gone along each side um, on a harsher piece of sandpaper and you just want to go in the one direction so that you don't round off the edges and do that on all sides. And then I'm going to varnish this top piece and because the outer edges of the piece will show um, once it's attached to the table, you just want to varnish around the outside of the underneath as well. And then here I've just made um, a tab or a handle from masking tape which I'll hold the piece with while I varnish it and that just saves you getting varnish on your fingers then. So once your table has been painted and your top piece is complete, apply glue to the actual table top. And 
and then use a spreader or a cocktail stick just to spread that evenly over the surface. Make sure you get it on those corner legs as well. And then place the top face down on your work surface and we're actually going to press the table against it and just making sure that you've got an even overhang around all edges. So just before the glue begins to set you can just manoeuvre that into position. And then press that down. Use a spare cocktail stick if you need to, to get rid of any glue around the edges. And then you can just secure that with clamps so that you'll go in under that bar of the table there. You can weigh it down, but I find using clamps stops the corners from lifting. get these right under the bar they tend to ping off so do be careful and you don't want to leave those on too long because you don't want them to mark the top but just long enough for the glue to begin to take And here is the completed table. And if you want to make the chairs, you'll find the tutorial amongst my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If so, please do subscribe to my channel as there's lots more to come. And thank you for watching.